where the valley of the Kansas meets the eastern skies, just beyond the Smoky River in a busy town, stands the high school of Old Junction. The first building located in the 300 block on West 9th Street was known as the Old McKinley Building, used as a high school from 1873 to 1904. At the time, the high school was a three-year course until 1894, and throughout the time, there were plans being made for a new school, and by the year of 1904, a native stone building stands on the corner of West 6th Street in Adams under the Superintendent W.S. Huesner. Throughout the years, this building has served a purpose to the Gary County School District as it was first a high school designed for students from 1904 to 1929. The curriculum that was designed for the students contained the subjects of reading, arithmetic, and Latin. Meanwhile, in 1918, the new junior high school building was established, offered for junior high school students. By 1929, there was addition to a building extending west and eventually it had become the new junior and senior high school. The old high school on 6th Street renamed it the Departmental Building as it housed only 6th graders. Within the 1950s, as Junction City continued to grow in size and population, Harold Deaver became the new superintendent of schools and on the list of growth was plans for a new high school located on Eisenhower. Enrollment had grew and within the crowded conditions of the junior senior high school building, as the building capacity was meant for 900 people, due to its size, there was a record number of 1,305 people, both students and teachers. By 1958, the building located at West 9th and Eisenhower was ready for use in October. This time, it was housed for students who were in grades 9 through 12. Throughout the early years, the arts, commencement ceremonies, and athletic programs were held at either the Opera House, Municipal Building, or the Old High School Building. In 1965, the new athletic field was dedicated for the new high school building, but it didn't have a name until 1971, named after long-term coach Al Simpler. To this day, the new Junction City High School has gone through several renovations and the high school today is still not finished. New gymnasiums have been added along with more classrooms, a chemistry lab, band room, reading lab, a foods lab, and administration offices. While the junior senior high school was actually a middle school, this building became the 9th through 12th high school back all over again. In the new 21st century, Junction City High School has now become a career academy high school, giving students an opportunity to learn subjects that fit within their desired field. In 2009, the old middle school has now transformed into the new Freshman Success Academy housing the ninth graders. It was dedicated as the new H.D. Carnes building. So much history remains behind the halls of Junction City High School, and some of that history is visible when walking up to the steps. 
the old bell that was used in front of the old McKinley building and the bronze blue jay statue still remains. The crest insignia is unknown to many, but even the history of Junction City remains. The sunflower that represents our state flower, three chains connect at one intersection symbolizing the Republican River and Smoky Hill River connecting to the Kansas River. The mask and lyre symbolizes the fine arts that is showcased throughout the school and community. The winged shoe, which symbolizes our tradition in spirit and athletics. On the bottom, we have the book of knowledge and torch, which means enlightenment and hope. The blue jay is the mascot symbolizing strength, boldness, and pride. The origin of the name is unknown, but it is believed to have came from the word junction and not the bird that we all know today, thus calling ourselves the Blue Jays. As tradition still continues, it will always be the pride of the Blue Jay Nation.